Scarlett Johansson, without a doubt, is by far my favorite actress of all time. Close in contention with uh, Jennifer Lawrence, but what is this uh, AI story going on with Scarlett Johansson? Well, apparently Chat GPT had a voice that sounded very much like her and people were using it and now it's been cut off. So if you didn't know, uh, she was uh, the AI voice in that movie, Her with Joaquin Phoenix that came out a while ago where he fell in love with his uh, phone's uh, AI voice and uh, they were trying to have a relationship. Scarlett Johansson did a fantastic job in that. Uh, did you like the movie Her? A lot of people did. 95% uh, by critics, 82 by the audience. I was a little bit, um, I don't know, this is kind of weird, uh, falling in love with AI. But this is where we're going, guys. Um, open AI suspense chat, B, chat GPT voice that sounds like Scarlett Johansson. I should not deliberately mimic a celebrity's distinct voice. Unfortunately, despite what uh, the technology says that it's not going to do, Fans will make it sound like her regardless. So you'll be able to download some kind of a patch or something like that that'll be like not uh, authorized for your own personal use and it will sound like Scarlett Johansson. Um, it kind of sucks because yeah, that's kind of like her property, but because AI is so good at it now, uh, like they've done Darth Vader's voice. Uh, so it's kind of like that they're using Darth Vader's voice now for uh, the uh, new Star Wars iterations. It's just kind of like, this is where we're headed. And eventually it's going to go beyond just the voice capabilities. It's going to be uh, the way that things look as well. And people just won't be able to get away from that. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree that uh, they should have suspended it? Yes. But the thing is, is that, okay, if you want really a lot of money, Scarlett, like, she doesn't need money, but like all the uh, actors out there are pushing against this AI thing because this is what's being taken from them, right? So there's an argument for like stuff like this. And then when you sign up for a movie, if you sign over your rights, your visage and your voice for them to use, um, for the rest of eternity, then they can do stuff like this, right? And you don't want that. So this is where like contracts and stuff, all of this stuff will have to get negotiated very deliberately, uh, very consciously to stop this from happening if you don't want this to happen at all. But as I said, there's always gonna be some underground mechanism that people will resort to because it's just, this is the way of the dodo. This is what AI is gonna be able to do for us. It sucks because, as I said, I'm a big Scarlett Johansson fan. Uh, but if you wanted to know what this whole story is, the Scarlett Johansson says she was shocked and angered over the open AI's use of a voice that was eerily similar. So it's not exactly, but it was very similar. And every, a lot of the uh, TikTok uh, influencers are jumping on this story. So don't be surprised if you go on your feeds and there'll be like people, where's my Scarlett Johansson? Where's my Scarlett Johansson? Uh, yeah, and you know that it's eventually gonna happen if you had your choice of whatever celebrity you wanted to have. Mine would probably have to be Tay-Tay. Taylor Swift, um, who would you guys have as your uh, AI voice? Uh, I mean, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so why is that one shaking? I don't know. Uh, but that's what's going on with the Scarlett Johansson story. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Next, we're gonna be talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. Is there gonna be a post credit scene or isn't there? Uh, very curious stuff. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, come join us here on Mirror Domains. Mm -hmm.